Okay, here we are again, uh, Griswold 811 ANSI style pump. Uh, we've got a 4 by 3 by 13 duct iron with a duct iron impeller. Uh, we're now going to show you how to uh, setting the clearance on the impeller. Uh, from the factory, we have it at 15 thousandths off the case, and uh, Wayne's going to show you how we're going to do that. Okay, the first thing we do is uh, I put some lube, anti-seize compound, it's just a bolt lube on the threads. And I take the uh, Teflon O-ring and I install it onto the back of the impeller. And sometimes if you have a hard time sticking, you can put just a little bit of lube on there too. And that'll help it stay in there as you install. Just a little trick we learned. And we be very careful not to hurt the threads. We put this on, spin it on until it stops. Then we have a tool. It's just a piece of pipe with a slot in it. We put it on the back of the shaft and leave it set on the table. You can get a, just a pair of channel locks. Good wrap, hard you can on the color, and to lock it in the plate. Okay, take our tool back off. Now that we have uh, our color on, we put our case on. this case gasket uh, and you can either put it on the stuffing box or you can put it on the case it's just a matter of preference sometimes it's better to do either or up the impeller to damage the impeller. So keep these nice and loose before you paint the case. thing we do is we set the impeller. On this uh, particular size pump, this is a medium pump, the um, 
propeller is supposed to be set at 15 thousandths degrees off the front of the case. So I'll grab my dial indicator. Before I zero that dial indicator, I want to run that shaft with the impeller stuck on the end of it all the way up to the front of the cave. Make sure everything's nice and loose. Once we're pretty sure that we got it up against the case, try to move the shaft and if it don't move, then probably got it up against the case. Then you want to back that sucker off. Set your dial indicator to zero. And after we set it to zero, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out to 20 thousandths. Now that we're at 20 thousandths, it's not going anywhere that way. So now we're going to bring it back in to 15. The bolts being the way they are, it's going to move just a little bit. So I usually try to get it within a thousandths of 15 and then I'll go back and I'll tighten these just a little bit more because the end of a bolt is not a real flat surface. We to get those a little tighter and we go back again get them to 15,000. We're at 15,000. That's our setting. Now we have these locking bolts that we put on that holds everything in place. Just like that. 15 thousandths. That should spin.